This is CNET, and here are the stories that matter right now. Fitbit announced the Ionic, a $300 smartwatch the company hopes will compete with the Apple Watch starting in October. The device includes new features like 50-meter water resistance, contactless payments, and onboard music storage. Fitbit also plans to launch an app store for the Ionic in the future. It's the first fitness tracker designed in-house at Fitbit. The planned feature set feels ambitious in some areas and lacking in others, but only time will tell if the Ionic can make a dent against Apple and Samsung's smartwatches. Massive annual tech conference IFA is about to begin in Berlin, Germany. If you're wondering what you should keep an eye out for, we have some predictions. It's likely Samsung will announce the next iteration of its Gear smartwatch and maybe a tablet or two. LG should unveil the V30 smartphone, while Sony will focus on home audio and a potential successor to its Xperia XZ smartphone. CNET will be on the ground to bring you the biggest stories out of Berlin. A recent New York Times report claims Apple will offer a premium model of its upcoming iPhone that could cost $1,000. That's a steep expense, but our own John Falcone says it's not that much of a shift. He cites monthly carrier payments, competitor smartphone pricing, and the fact that the current top-of-the-line iPhone costs just $30 shy of $1,000 as reasons not to panic at the potential price tag. We'll find out what Apple officially has in store when it holds its iPhone event this fall. Stay up to date with the latest by downloading the CNET Tech Today app in the Apple or Google Play stores.